Good morning and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, this morning's video I am going to delve into the, um, the Indie RPG Creator Summit non-traversy. Um, you know, this is a summit that is, uh, that is being backed by, uh, Goodman Games and, uh, and Backer Kit. And, uh, just prior to the weekend, possibly on Friday or so, uh, they, uh, they announced their summit and, uh, announced, uh, with a, uh, with, with the image that you see here, their, um, their graphic just showing some of the presenters included, uh, and as many uh, respondents uh, on their or commenters on their uh, announcement, uh, they they seem to have missed and dozens more, which was clearly down there, uh, and uh, it really did explode into a. Um, into a back and forth uh, on on Twitter, uh, attached to their initial their initial announcement and such, and Goodman Games uh, basically folded, and you know came out with an apology, which I'm going to go over, and uh, and and even that was still criticized, um, and and by the same. The same individuals that had a, an issue with this image. So, as you can see on this image, uh, all that these uh, that these individuals and there weren't very many of them, but um, but they were very very vocal. Uh, they came out and they saw one thing: uh, a ten white male faces. Uh, no connection to who these individuals actually are uh, and and why they might have gotten top billing of uh, being presenters here. And um, I, I mean, even one of the commenters were like, I don't even know who these people are. Uh, and that's clearly someone who is a tourist, which is why uh, I label this a lesson and how not to respond to tourists. And so this is going to be largely a criticism of uh, Goodman Games and Backer Kit, uh, not of the fact that they initiated with this graphic, but in their response to um, the tourists' claims that... Um, that this was not inclusive enough and and this was inherently racist because there were just white males shown and um you know so I'm going to get into that I'm going to get into how I responded uh, uh yesterday the day before and so, and whatnot uh to the initial releases and then the apology as well and uh Without further ado, let me shift over to that. So here we have their uh, their apology, right? So regarding our previous Indie RPG Creator Summit speaker highlight post, we acknowledge that we want to address our oversight in representing the diversity of our community and are committed to promoting inclusivity moving forward. We hope that this update helps to address the crucial oversight in our promotional image where we failed to adequately represent the diverse members and speakers within our community. Although it was not our intention to exclude any of our speakers, this mistake underscores broader systematic issues and the responsibility of us to help maintain and promote high standard of inclusivity in spaces that suffer from underrepresentation. We are truly thankful for the feedback from our community. They're probably not. That's bullshit. Uh, which has been a helpful wake-up call for our team. This will be used as an important learning experience, and we have revised our promotional image to more accurately reflect the valuable contributions of 
all of our community members and event participants. Moving forward, we have committed to engaging in more in-depth internal discussions to proactively prevent such oversights and to promote inclusivity. Um, the bottom line is, is that they, uh, Goodman Games does not come out and say what was part of their selection process for who would be on that initial image. They could have really just cleared this up by saying, we have presented content creators that are more likely to be known, who have directly produced products for uh, Goodman Games, including Joseph Goodman, who is in the image as well. So it's like, you know, he's kind of the guy, you know, at the head of uh, Goodman Games. And so uh, maybe he could have been, well, even though I'm presenting, I'm not going to put my image on there um, because it's kind of expected that he would be a presenter anyway. Um, so maybe that was an unnecessary uh, inclusion. Um, I think that some of the other individuals that you'll see later on should have been moved up in that ranking, but the new image that they put out was not a very much help. But here is my response to this. So there are some that says, please ignore the small, like this one here, I'm not even sure who this person is directing your comments to whether it was to the people that complained first or the people that said nothing was done wrong. Um, but, you know, please ignore the small-minded bigots. Um, again, I don't know who this individual was talking about, but I'm just going to get to mine, all right? Um, so I have to scroll down a little bit to get to here. So in your original tweet... Only one racist troll wrote something negative and you followed up with a bent knee. Your original graphic said, and dozens more, I assume the pictured panelists were selected because they were more well known and the rest will likely be more diverse, uh, which in turn, it, it turned out to be so as far as um, a, a great number of female individuals were included in that second image. They were part of the and dozens more. Um, so why weren't they more prominently put on the top end? Because they weren't as well known. They weren't direct creators. They were mostly support people or people behind the scenes of things that were not going to have that kind of immediate name recognition. All right, let's continue. I then follow up with, I guess it didn't occur to you to defend your selection process and reaffirm that every panelist, pictured or not, were invited based on the merit of their work. You might have also released the list of the and dozens more and invited more to attend if they wish to apply. All right. And that I think is where I'm going to shift back over here. That's where I think is where they made their mistake. That to me was the best response was to come out and say, uh, no, there are many other people that were involved. Here are, you know, the additional individuals that uh, that we've reached out to. They could have even come out and said, we extended an invitation to many, many creators and not all could attend. All right. And, you know, gone into what what was the criteria for their selection process at the same time they're backing up their process and their decision for putting these individuals on the front, on the first graphic of who is going to be presenting. Um, otherwise, people looking at 
you know, if they had no image of anyone, if they just used the, these are the things we're going to, it's not going to have the same draw. You know, so who do they put here? They put here people that they assumed most would recognize their names. All right. Now, if you're a complete tourist, you don't know any of these individuals. All right. And, and some of the comments actually laid that out you know, pretty clear. If they didn't know who some of these people are, they're certainly not indie creators um, that we have all heard of before. Now, you might not also be like so inside pool kind of an individual, a follower of both Indian OSR. I, I find it interesting that they avoid the, uh, you know, Gidman Games and Backer Kit avoided calling this like an OSR Indie RPG Creator Summit. Um, you know, and that, you know, that was something that I think was probably uh, intentional. They, they don't want to make this sound like it's an Indie OSR Summit and then they would be attacked because there is this cadre of, you know, sparkle troll tourists that will attack anything that is promoting OSR. Uh, but many of these people, like I said, they swapped them out. They switched over to a new graphic. So let me, uh, I'm going to pull that up, that new graphic, and, uh, and show that to you. Um, I just have to go over to here and let's pull up their new graphic if I can find it. Here we go. So, and now I am going to come back here and shift. Here we go. So here are their new, uh, their new people, right? And virtually all of these, uh, here we go. Sorry, I could have done that before. So this is their new presentation, right? And so we have, uh, you know, we have several females, uh, one, two, three, four, you know, five females of the total of still 10 members. So now it's at least a 50-50 a split, at least in their view. I'm not sure who this individual is, uh, but to be honest with you, I don't know any of these individuals um, other than uh, Jor uh, he pronounces it Jordan. I don't know why the PH is in there, but um, and he I only know as as being a YouTuber who used to be like pretty big and then, um, you know, fell, you know, fell from our consciousness, <laughs> you know, pretty much uh, and, and collapsed. So uh, but none of these people are really um you know, frontline designers uh, that that I recognize, and um, you know, not to take away from anything that they're doing, but most of them are support staff. Most of them are connected to uh, whether it be Kickstarter or connected to um, uh, public, uh, uh, like public commentary on on uh, websites and such like that, like. Uh, or promotional people and such, not content creators, not writers and authors and publishers and 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 the like, at least not directly. And so once they put up this graphic, I was like, well, that's kind of a slap in the face to the original people you put on there. It's like, and then they were, of course, attacked immediately because... Again, virtually all of these individuals are once again white. And there was, you know, that was immediately jumped on and said, hey, it's still a whole bunch of white people. You know, and again, Goodman Games would have been better served, would have better served their own thing as like to describe the process that they used, the selection process that they used to reach out um to 
other individuals that might have declined for whatever reason. They might have had uh, scheduling uh, issues or, or whatnot. So again, it, it, it just goes to show you that, um, you know, no good, no good intention goes unpunished. Um, their intention was to have an indie RPG creator summit. And uh, instead of people saying, hey, you know what, it's an opportunity to uh, sit in and listen to these individuals that have some expertise in their in their particular areas. And, um, you know, it's free, although there, there are some paid, you know, um, you know, ticket sales that you might might get more opened up to you. But um, it's free and you could choose to go to it or not. And, you know, here their response was actually worse than their initial posting, you know, and, and that's the, you know, that's the, the problem with this whole thing. Uh, that's why it's, it's, you know, when you respond to something that isn't a true controversy with transparency and an explanation of, of what your process was, and you do it without apologizing, but you just come out and say, these are the individuals that have done the most for DCC because that's what most of them are uh, being put up here for, the most that have done for um, Dungeon Crawl Classics, and make it about that and say that that's why these individuals were selected then you kind of diffuse the outside, uh, the outside issues. If they came out and they said, well, here are some other creators that we reached out to who have declined, uh, again, for whatever reason, that the, the list was much, much longer. The other thing that they could have done was to say that, you know, this is not taking place, uh, you know, the signups aren't even taking place until mid-December, so another week and a half or, or so um, before signups are taking. And if you're interested in being on a panel or even running a panel, you know, you being the lead person on a panel and you have other people that are going to sit on that panel with you, submit your names and just open it up more for more people to come in. All right. Um, you know, I don't remember them really doing an external, hey, if you're interested in doing this, you know, then, uh, you know, sitting on a panel or, or starting a panel, then come right in. It's not like other, um, you know, other like tabletop events type of things where you can log in months ahead of time and then start submitting uh, applications to run panels or to run games and such. And um, I, I think maybe that's where they kind of uh, made a misstep. But again, their misstep wasn't with this, uh, with this image. Their misstep was with the response they apologized for it instead of backing up their choices. You know, instead of, you know, just saying, I'm not saying that because I've heard some commentators say, hey, the best response was like the Elon Musk, you know, go fuck yourselves response. Um, Elon Musk has go fuck you money. You know, Goodman Games does not. So I, I completely understand that... Um, you know, that wasn't their response. That wouldn't have been the best response for them. The best response for them would have been to come out and support their own process, you know, to stand by their own process and to stand by these individuals that are, you know, up there and say, these individuals are well known uh, to a majority of the people that are going to attend this and they are accomplished in the various aspects that they're going to be talking about. And that's it. Uh, transparency is the best disinfectant to these uh, 
found these foundless allegations of um, the lack of diversity. All right, um, basically saying we offered this as an open door, and we, we didn't close the door for anyone uh, unless they didn't have the qualifications. Uh, you know, the background in order to sit on here. So it's it's another thing, you know, that many of us in the hobby really do need to call out um, and, and to, you know, reassert the fact that, um, you know, never apologize for, uh, for good intention. Uh, never apologize for uh, never apologize to those that have no intention of actually attending what you're doing, buying what you're creating, or you know responding in any fair way with what you are um, what you've presented as an advertisement. Again, when I first saw this and I saw the individuals up there, I was just looking to see. Do I recognize any of these names and am I familiar with what they've actually done? Uh, and then when I saw and dozens more, I assumed that there will be even more individuals, maybe not at the same, um, uh, at the same level of uh, recognition as these, and that's why they're up there. Um, my only critique on, on this image here is that Joseph Goodman could have cleared the way for somebody else. Um, you know, I certainly recognized uh, Eric Bloat in the other longer um, listing of the dozens more. And uh, and he is somebody who uh, puts out great product and, and would have been a, a great face to have up there. And we didn't necessarily need Joseph Goodman up there because it would be assumed that he's going to be speaking. Um, I also argued in another, uh, you know, in another tweet uh, elsewhere that um, I'm sure if they could have gotten a, uh, a Michael Pondsmith, uh, he would have been right front and center on there because who wouldn't like to hear that individual talk or a Mark A. Hunt who does Gangbusters BX. He would have been a great person to have up there. I don't know if those individuals were reached out to. Um, you know, or if Goodman Games is, well, Goodman Games is certainly aware of, of, um, Michael Pondsmith, but, um, you know, are they aware of, of Mark Hunt or are they aware of other people? Did they reach out to Kelsey Dion? I mean, if they reached out to Kelsey Dion and, and she was able to attend, she would have definitely been on the front of this thing. You know, it, it wasn't that they didn't select these people that are on here for a reason all right and for a good reason uh so you know it, it's be ready to recognize and call out tourists in the hobby and tell them you know listen you weren't going to you weren't going to buy into this anyway so uh run along kind of uh a a response to them so that's my take on this, uh, and uh, you know whether you agree with it or disagree with it, you know, feel free to put your comments in there. I, I don't, I don't mind having a conversation. I don't mind arguing a, you know, or debating, um, you know. And um, yeah, if if my take is dramatically different than yours, feel free to tell me how I'm wrong. And uh, if you agree with me, feel free to, you know, give me that support too and say, hey, you know what, I'm, um, I, I looked at it the same way that you have. Uh, so either way, I'm, I'm just as happy to have the conversation with you. So thank you all for coming in. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen uh, sometime soon or at a convention uh, later. At, at my table, anyone's a welcome. I have six seats open. Whoever fills up the first six seats, seats that's where we're, we're going with. All right. Um, I mean, that's that's how I run my table. That's how they should run their conventions too, right? If if they're, you know, if they're having panelists, 
people either request to be on a panel and they, they have the credentials to back it up or they invite people to come to the panel because they have credentials that they would like to put out there and just stand by your decision. And that's all. Um, you know, so that's that's where I stand. All right, you'll have a great day and, um, you know, good week coming up. And as always, uh, just keep on gaming out there. Keep on enjoying our hobby. And uh, and, and don't let don't let uh, cry bullies push you around when your um, when your intentions are are good. So have a great day. Take care.